What is going on guys? Skip here and welcome back to another episode in our Road to Glory series. Today we're back with round three and probably round four of the Pakistan Super League. If you did join us last episode, you would have seen that the RDB got off to a decent start in the competition. Unfortunately, the boys couldn't quite back him up as we took a loss and then finished off with a win. It is still early doors in the season. I'm still learning the names and the teams. They're all tongue twisters, but hey, it is the experience that counts and that is all that matters ladies and gents we're going to get stuck straight into it so grab yourself a cold one get your feet up and continue to enjoy the career of robin de bank so it's off to the Multan Cricket Stadium to take on Peshwa Zalmi. They've got Babar Azam, James Nisham, Amir Jamal. We've still got Cutting Malik Tar here, and the old boys continue. The wicket looks dry. It looks like it is going to spin a mile. And shout out to the Karachi uniform. We're going with the retro look for this season, and I think it just fits nicely. Peshwa win the toss. So she's a soft, dusty one. Plenty of spin to win, 32 degrees. They've decided to have a bowl right here. Robin let's see if the boys can back you up today the pyros are out 32 degree day I'm not too sure if that is a good idea but we're gonna roll in at 64 for two a decent start with Hyder rally at number three the RDB facing the last ball of your ramen's over He's got one for nine, feeling fine. He's got five men out, and we'll get four. drill that to extra cover finish the over nine are done and it's 65 for two as you'd expect, spin all around. Kadir, the right arm leg spinners in. Oi, we play and miss. We're obviously very limited in the time that we have in T20 cricket, so we're just going to try our best as... Well, that was weird. That should have been innings over. We got caught walking out the wicket keeper sleeping too as we just nudged this one into the leg side and yet we are taken two all day. That is a marathon to get that ball. They're still working out these pro controllers to spin. I have no idea how to attack them. So we'll just play it by ear and keep the ball along the ground. Try and manipulate the field as we do that beautifully. Come back for two. Can we take this arm on? He's going to throw the wrong end and we're through. Beautiful running. We just call that heightening your senses. We talk about it most episodes. Kadir in again. We hit this to extra cover. No run. 58 balls to go. Raman over short. Yep, we'll turn that round the corner. This is brilliant from the captain. Finding gaps bigger than Lana Rhodes. And we come back for two. We know that the spin needs to stop at some stage. Are we just good enough to get through it? I think we might be as we cut that to short third and we'll keep it at a dot. Seven off the over. Steady, non risk cricket as we hit this to point. He dives and there's another single. So here we go. 11 done. 79 for two. Urshad into the attack. He's going to bowl a full toss. We're going to work that almost through mid-wicket and keep it at one. Now the changes are made. 94 for two. Hyder Ali starting to pick up. As the left arm is in, we open the hands and get the gap. Use the pace of that ball and the outfield, and we're going to get our first boundary. Yep. Just lean on it, open the hands, and we'll let the ball do the rest. All the batting down under is certainly helped. We're in a rich vein of form as we get a short one and we just check this one down the ground for one halfway through Riaz is over we step outside leg stump get the short ball and we cut beautifully didn't expect that did he it's a classic ai trick as we're back for two a good partnership this just anchoring ali as Riaz is in he's short that's wide it has to be wide multi show me your armpits give us a sniff please yes his plan is to go short i can deal with that oi the multi looking after us here. Wide, wide. Short ball again. No, that's full. Are they asking the question? They are. That's hit us outside the line of off stump. Thank you very much. No need to go upstairs, Baba. They've bluffed us out with the Yorker. This time we're back schnicking and we're caught at short third, man. That is absolutely disgusting. Well, that's the intensity of T20 cricket. Big schnick. Good catch at short third, man. That flew like a rocket. You shake your head. You're disappointed. It. We're out for 19. It's three for 116. As show of Malik rolls into the middle. Good luck to you, sir. And the innings is done. 
we will get stuck into this Peshawar lineup. If I am pronouncing that wrong, please let me know. Have a look at the scorecard, 182 for six. Good batting wicket. Remember, it's soft and dusty, so plenty on offer for the batsman. Fast outfield and a dream. Same Ayub into the middle. He's going to face the first ball. You know the rules. We keep the field the same. We've got the catcher in, third man, fine leg. First ball is going to get work to square leg for a dot. Every dot massive here. We're normally getting our four done before the halfway mark as Ayub's back and he's working to cover. Oh, it might sound silly, but hey, two dot balls massive so far as he tries the whip and he's going to get it back with a square. Finally, put in that shift that you need to, brother. He does. He keeps it at two. Good field and good standards here. This could be like Warney when he went to the IPL. He had the worst team and it took him a while to work it out and that is exactly what happened. The wicket started to fall. The runs piled on and the boys had a bit of fun. Poor Robin DeBank is on fire in Pakistan, ladies and gents. Yes, 19 with the bat, part of a good partnership, but we are taking wickets every single game, Matty. Wade, no butterfingers on this occasion, brother. Ayub gone for two. It's one for two as Muhammad Harris rolls into the middle, and we are not changing this field one little bit. Rock and roll, son. We're full fast and getting worked a square leg yet again for a dot ball. Babara's arm down the other end just looked King watching short ball again. We have him on his tippy toes. The first over's done, and it's two for one. Got Tom Cole Cadmore. Why has the field changed? Oh, it's Babaru's arm on strike. Five off three. He just tickles this down a fine leg. It's a good shot. He should come back for two. And he does. Hey, what? The RDB's been in the gym. He is juiced up. Oh, catch that. No, Bub is going to lean across. Bang us through mid-wicket, and that's going to be our first boundary conceded. Yes. Back to reality. Change of field. Deep square goes out as he whips down a fine leg. There you go. He can just have the single this time. No, it's going to happen again. Oh, my God. It's five. Oh, fucking hell. It just breaks me. It breaks me. Short ball this time. He's under edging the point for a dot. And what it makes us do is bowl short. There you go. Right, I'm going to stand right here. They can come back for two. That is all good. The ball just goes to the keeper. Thank you very much. At the last of the second, 15 conceded. It shouldn't be like this, ladies and gents. As the off cutters in, he checks his drive to extra cover. Dot ball overdone, and it's 31 for one. A quick spell back for the seventh over. Change of field here as we go short and Babba's working leg side. You can see we've got the leg gully in. Three men on the leg side. So, hey, encourage the short ball and win dots. There you go. No, it's a top edge and it goes for six. The Pakistan crowd are going off. A 50 partnership up. That's gone 120 meters. We go short again this time. We hit him in the ribs. Just go down to Babber and have a word with him. We're changing the pace nicely. Slow ball bouncer really slow. Tennis balling in his under edge. Oh, someone's got to slow these runs down. And it's going to be... The RDB. Just, well, we just count this as two, don't we? Maybe five. You're kidding. So the last of the third. One for 23. Eight off this one. In swing. And Yorker gets worked through the leg side. That's going to skim the grass. Going to be a single this time. Close out the seventh. And it's 57 for one. They are absolutely on track to get this done. 10 and over they need. Off 11 as Leg Gully saves the day. Good feel better. Babra's arm. Good challenge here as he works Leg Gully again. Instead of top edge and broke, just hook us for six. Oh, there's a top. <laughs> well, I don't have any words. Simple. It's 2020 cricket. This time we're lifted over Leg Gully. It's Babra's arm on his home deck doing what he does best. And that is another boundary. Well, at least we don't let Baba get his 50 off us. The last of our allotted is in, and the 10th, as we get work to the man at cover, it will be 1-10 done. It's 83 for 1, and we've got to sim this one through to see if the boys can get the job done. That we do, and I reckon they chase this relatively easy. Yep, they do. Baba's arm does not miss. 104 off 68. Lay him straight, and Peshwa win by nine whole wickets. We thought the first over was going to be our day. Well, next up, it is Bubba and the boys. We do not want to talk. There you go. Not much to the men. We're even, not even on the mic. That's what you love to see is the Zalmi lads chase her down in the 19th over. And we go one and two of the season. Well, I can cop losing, but I cannot cop laziness. Today, 
it is all about effort. The Multan Sultans are in the building. Tim David Riley Rousseau, some real batting power there as we get out on what looks to be a brilliant day. The coin is up in the air. The Kings call tails. We know it never fails. They have some cool uniforms, but we keep it at retro round on a soft dusty. We're going to have a bat because, boy, it worked well last game. Lock and load, Robin. Let's see if we can get some. A good crowd in, beautiful weather, and a dream. 6.5 overs have been bowled. It's 44 for two. Matthew Wade and Robin DeBank out there together, the Englishman and the Aussie. And a Freedy with the rock. Two for 27, five men out. Field restrictions have changed as he's short. Oh, and he's beaten us first up. Matty Wade just starting to get going. Jay Little into the attack. They go the short ball, and that's going to be a wide. Wayno, let me see those pits as well, please, brother. Well, how was that not a wide? They go over leg stump. Short ball again. This time the top edge is our way. Does it go for six? It doesn't. Get us off the mark with four. Kieran Pollard, have a look at that rig. Oh, my days. Big Kieran, they have got you sorted on this game, son. Four off three. What's he going to bowl today? They're going the short ball. No dramas in the Bahamas here, brother, as he's short again, and we plain miss. Not to mention that we've lost two wickets as well, so we're back where we started. This is good from the boys. The Multan Sultans. Sultans a swing. Short ball this time. Oh, my gosh. It is a plain miss party, and these fields are really, really good. Kieran Pollard is in. We finally get bat on ball. We can work this to backward point. We're going to come back for two on the arm. No, we're not. Now we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do we aggress or do we anchor this innings and let IMAD... Well, IMAD's of six off one. There's a short ball. We're going to work this to point. Take it on. Direct hit. He's gone. I think we're just going to let IMAD do his thing here. Short ball. Why are we defending? Because we're going to take a single. That's beautiful and cheeky as well. But the last of Tim David's first. He's getting a bit of spin here, so we'll go offside all my days. What is happening with this batting lineup? I asked for effort today, and I tell you what, we are getting laziness as we're still out in the middle. We've got to take these singles, but the wickets keep falling. But the last of the 14th, we're only on 8 off 13 here. We've seen five wickets go as we play and miss. Maybe it's just a tricky deck. Pollard continuing to bowl that tennis ball. Bouncy trash. He's on a length. We try and work this down a third man. We're getting nothing out of this deck. Slick back David into the attack. Round the wicket to us here. Short ball. And we're going to go bang over fine leg. Have some of that, baby. Six more. You cannot bowl there, son. I picked that too. Knew it was going to be short and just we parged it over fine leg for six. For the full Nelson. Whipped and hammered. This time he's full. What are you doing, you idiot? We can hit spinners for six. Oh, that's out. That is out. That is out. No. Hey, you what? I would be going upstairs. David in again. That's a full toss. We whip this to short. Fine. He's misfielded it. Turn, turn, turn. And he does. Can we come back for three? This is going to be humongous. These runs all count. The three overs left. 120 for seven. Just remember that three. Oh, why are you asking the question? Shut up. Seven and over. I feel like that ain't too bad. Jafar is in again. We go leg side. Try and lift it, but don't get all of it. And we'll come back for two. Going to give us that cut shot here. Don't mind this. Oh, that's out. That is absolutely out. Why haven't you appealed? Oh, we'll just pretend like that never happened. Jafar in again. Oh, that's a wrong and that's well bowled. It's a two off the over. Full toss. Hammered down the ground. Slow out the gate. The non-striker will keep it at one. Two overs left. More spin to win. Cut shot, no. But we just drop that in at point. And we say, yep, yeah, get back for two, baby. Good running. Going to have the opportunity to open the bowling. We've got to take early wickets. Well played. Oh, no, that can't be a run. Barry not really living up to it. Nor we really as an anchor, but... Try and get forward. No, we're going to whip this to mid-wicket. Keep it at one. Yes. The six balls left. Mia in. Oh, that is hammered over backward point for six. Yes, it is. Oh, Wayno, you love to see that. The big fellas come to play. Picked the wrong and deposited that into the crowd. Remember that three off the misfield? Yep, me too. Oh, we're going to have to take the single to cover here. 
good arm gets him no and well that was the end of the innings jafari getting it done at the end i hope so as it's 156 for seven that is a decent fight back three for one 44 for 260 for 360 for four and we just lost wickets in clumps 77 for five 78 for six 84 for seven then 156 for seven given something for our bowlers to bowl at Usman Khan, Robin D. Bank, and a dream. The field is good, don't need to change it. Catches are in place. The first ball is to be bowled. As we go short of a length, and we're going to get work to that man out at mid wicket for one. Muhammad Rizwan. That's a different field. Go fuller. Oh, he's going to work it to the man at mid wicket again. Don't mind that. You can take your picket fences all day, lads. Oh, no, they're back for two. Forgot. I forgot how shite this is. I know Rizwan's going to want to take the short ball on, so we just put that field back in. Oh, far out. Come on. Please, 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 come on. Top edge. Take our medicine. This time it's back of a length, and he's working a point. Just don't want to give him that half volley that he can launch over cover. Gonna go leg side. The RDB's gonna have to chase and chase and chase. They're back for an easy two. But the last of the first nine off it. Not ideal as they, well, they need eight and over. As we drop this one in, he hits it to point. The one over is done and it stays at nine for none. Well, it's the Jafarian debunk show today. He picks up two wickets in his first over. It's two for 12 as Riley Rousseau's almost dragging one off on. two. Length, key, yep. I mean, it's a bit of a hack shot, but that's okay. Is he going to get a boundary? Probably, unless finally puts in a dive. Oh, it's Jafari's day. Now the change of field comes in if Rousseau wants to go back. Oh, he's whipping mid-wickets. Hot hands. Because we don't have a third man or backward point, we do need to keep this straight. And there's the whip. Good fight back here. Two off the over. None for 11. Fall into the toes. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just calling this pure smarts. Last of the second. In we go. He whips again, Miss Field. You can take the one. Three are done, and it's 15 for two. A quick spell and brought back in for the 12th. They still need nine and a half and over. It's 70 for five. Similar positions here as we go full in on the toes, and we whipped off the ankles, and that's going straight down. Finally, straight. Thank you very much. The RDB's got his wicket. Ah, don't you love it when things work? The low full toss is a man's best friend in T20 cricket. That's a good catch. Is that Jafari? Oh, it's his world. We're just living in it again. It's six for 70. Shah goes. Mare in. And we have a job to do. 87 off 53. The devil's number appears. Shout out to Wayno. Give us an LBW as we get tonked down the ground for no run. Willing to bowl the short ball. Catch that. Oh, my days. Almost falls into our trap. Timmy David. Bowl against the biggest hitters. He will take it on. Thought Leg Gully was there or thereabouts for a second. Going to come back for two. No. This bloke's probably the man we can bowl short to. Last of the 30 takes it on. It's going to be one to mid wicket. Pick up and throw keepers end. He does. 12 are done. It's 73 for six. Still with two men out. One for 15. Don't need a top edge. Catching. Just need the single. A ball. Well, it wasn't a single. It was two as per. But how good do the figures look without fives in there? Three left, two off the over. David struggling. Oh, as he whips. Inside edge, you're going to take it on. That's out. No, it's not. Rolling the fingers over the ball. The wrist come into play. Slower ball. Dot ball nut. They've realized that they need to run. So the last of our fourth, that will leave six overs after this. Interesting times as we're driven for a dot. It cleans the 14th. That's 83 for six as we touch wood, cross our fingers, close our eyes, and just wish that the dub is here. Jafari's taken four. RDB's taken one. 20 overs are up. I think we've got the win. Jafari, it is your day, baby. Give him $2,000. Forget the interview. We don't even care about it. We give two word answers, man. It just ain't a thing. The boys want to get back in the sheds and have a Pepsi and a KFC. And there you go. The Karachi Kings get it done by 14 runs. So we go one loss, one win on the episode, and that's going to see us middle of the pack after four. It was a little less overwhelming this time round. We didn't know what to expect last episode, but hey, we're just finding our feet nicely. Ladies and gents, we're going to leave it there for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a cheeky comment down below, and make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams as well. But until the next time, look after yourselves and... 
those around you, and I'll catch you in the next one.